Number one, co-washing. I used to co-wash my hair. I used to love co-washing my hair, but I just don't see the point in it. It did not clean my hair. And welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Lauren Lee 11. Yes, I know I said I wasn't going to use a co-wash, but today I am. I'm not using a co-wash because I'm thinking, okay, this is the stuff that I'm going to start using from now on. I just literally, I just want, I just want to try it. I, I just want to try it. I just want to try it. I just want to make sure that I am adamant in what I say and I'm sure that this product is not for me. I have bought actual co-washes to wash my hair, to cleanse my hair if I should say. My issue with a co-wash is that it doesn't give you that clean feeling because it's washing your hair with a conditioner. So when I've got gel in my hair, like a buildup of gel, you know, washing my hair with a conditioner, I start to see the ball in and I just feel like my hair's not completely cleansed. But that's what co-washes are for, they're meant to cleanse your hair, so you know. And plus, when I did use to co-wash, I used to get an amazing definition. So I will be doing this today, guys, and I'm doing it for you, okay? Not because I want to, but because I'm doing it for you. <laughs> All right, so let me just show you what I've picked up from the store. And this is, you've seen this in my videos before, well, not this co-wash, but this brand, the Coconut Oil from Palmer's, they're that line. And that stuff works amazing on my hair anyway. I'm not a fan of coconut oil, but that line, it literally, it's really, really nice. My hair just really likes it for some reason. So, it says, cleansing conditioner co-wash for dry, damaged, or color treated hair. My hair is not damaged, it's uh, color treated, but it's still quite, it's still quite healthy, you know? Okay, <laughs> let me just quickly read to you what it says on here. Palmer's Coconut Oil Co-Wash is no lather shampoo alternative that gently cleanses without stripping moisture or color. Okay, so let's just give this a try. I just wanna show you how the co-wash works in my hair or doesn't work, but if you wanna see how I get on with this, just carry on watching. Okay, so I have rinsed all the product residue from my hair and now I'm going to use the co-wash. So it comes in this pump, which I like because of some of the co-washes I have used in the past, you have to scoop them out and I find they don't last that long. I do have to pump a lot because I've got a lot of hair. So, let's go. Okay. Smells very coconutty. If you have used this line before, the products that I have used from this line, they all smell the same. So if you know what that smell is, that's what this co-wash smells like. Okay, so it smells like a coconut body lotion for those of you who haven't used it. Cause there's just no lava. I just feel like my hair is just not being cleaned. So obviously, as it's a cleanser, I'm gonna have to rub it into my scalp. It just feels like I'm putting body lotion on my hair. It's just weird. It's a weird feeling. Let me know how many of you co-wash and what you think of it. Do you think it's a great alternative to shampoo, or do you do an apple cider rinse, or do you do a clay rinse instead? I don't know. I'm just. Just don't know if I can get with this co-wash business. And then I'm gonna detangle with my uh, tangle teaser that you saw from my last video. If you watch my last video, if you haven't, you can go ahead now. On my hair, <laughs> if you can see, I have got little white balls on my hair. <sighs> this is what I wanted to avoid. Cause you know the clarifying shampoo just gets rid of all of that, right? Hopefully when I rinse out this co-wash, it will rinse out those balls as well. But to be honest, if I don't like today's results, then I won't be using it, so it'll be lasting very long. This is exactly why I don't like co-washing, look. You get them white balling bits, and I just don't feel like it's cleaning my hair. Because I feel like once I've rinsed it out, I'm still gonna have those balling bits in my hair and I'm gonna have to go back and shampoo anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? This is why I don't co-wash. The whole point of co-washing is, so you don't have to shampoo, and I feel like I'm gonna have to re rewash my hair after this. Hey guys. So I'm back and I've washed out my hair. Do you see my face? Right, let me show you why I do not co-wash. I've washed it out my hair. Look at this. This. This is meant to have been cleansed and washed. This is my hair washed out. So right now there shouldn't be any residue, no white ballings, no white bits. So I have wasted my time. I don't like the idea of pre-poo and I don't pre-poo. So I don't think of it as a good thing that I've just put conditioner on my hair because my hair isn't pre-pooed. 
I've just got to go and wash it out now with a cleansing shampoo. This is why I don't co-wash. The idea of co-washing, it's a no for me. My hair just feels frizzy, it just feels tacky. As you can see, I've still got product in there. Lots of product, lots of balling, if you can see that on my hand. And it's a no from me, okay? So anyone who wants me to co-wash, this is the video for you. It's been done, I will not be doing it again. So don't ask me, <laughs> no, I'm joking. But all right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. All right, bye.